So welcome to Mississauga. Just great to see the turrets. Uh, I hope that it would be even bigger because, quite honestly, it represents a lot of municipalities. What is the population uh, of the Western GDA? Must be quite a Region of Peel is not in Wisconsin. So, and, uh, but it's a start. I got to give you a little history because sometimes, you know, I often say about the press, don't let the facts get in the way of a good story. And they don't do their homework. And there's an article in the paper just recently. We do have a paper in Mississauga, but I don't remember the name of it. Uh, and it said, finally, the mayor of Mississauga has decided that we sh she should work together with the municipalities in the GTA. How many you sat on the, the GTA mayors and regional chairs for 10 years? Right? And uh, Amel, regional chairs. We worked together for 10 years, met every month, except July and August. I chaired it and took the expenses of it. It wasn't much, but my budget looked after the expenses of it, and my staff in my office looked after it. And what did we do? Well, we had a united voice when we went to the province on an issue. Secondly, we created the Greater Toronto Marketing Alliance, bringing together the private sector, all the boards of trade, and the chambers of commerce in the, in the GTA together, and the private sector to set up an organization to promote the GTA internationally. That's what we did. Those who were involved. Then along came the province, of course, to mess it up, which they do so well. And that is, they brought about the Greater Toronto Services Board. So therefore, representing all the municipalities. So therefore, we had to stop. I think history is important. I know it's one minute. So now we are back trying to work together. And the biggest problem from day one is the fact that the city of Toronto is not a part of us working together in the GTA. That is the major problem. Barbara Hall, when she was mayor of Toronto, joined us. David Miller never did. And Rob Ford, the new mayor, doesn't attend. How can you ever put together the GTA when the largest municipality in the GTA does not join with us in promoting the needs of the Greater Toronto Market Alliance? And that's what we're going to be stuck with when we go out now to try to get the necessary Metrolinks plan approved or accepted and the necessary revenue tool to fund it. The, my position and the position of my council is quite unanimous. Metrolinks plan is the plan. It's not perfect, but it's the best one that's come forward to date. Secondly, People say efficiencies of the province will provide the money to fund the big move. They have to close up the province to have enough money to do it. So we better get on with the job that we need the big move. We've got to get on with the second portion of it. We, we can do two things. Do nothing and let the gridlock grow. Or do something and pick up the tab for it. That's the choice. That's my choice and the choice of my council that we got to get on with the Metrolinks program and we have to help pay for it. We have not taken a stand on the issues today except two. And we've taken it as all municipalities. The large urban mayors of Ontario took it, of which I'm chairman, and some of the mayors sitting here are on the mark. Unanimous vote to support that link, unanimous vote that we need revenue tools to finance it, except property tax and transit revenue. That is, it better be ruled out, those two. Otherwise, we will give the province our opinion, the large urban mayors, I can speak for, and by the way, I also want you to know that the mayor of London, 
the mayor of Barrett, the mayor of Waterloo, they're not in the GTA, folks. And they supported the mayors in the GTA, supported Beckerman, except Hamilton. Except Hamilton. And Hamilton, I don't know how Hamilton ever got into the GTA, and I think we should really chuck them out. <laughs> so, unanimous position of the large urban mayors with three mayors, Kingston, four mayors outside of the GTA, saying we better stop talking and get on with action, because they know, some of them already, they are going to need what we're going to put into action in the GTA. So folks, all we need to do is get the citizens behind us. And I hope in this audience today, Brian, that there's a lot of members of the corporations and citizens, because it's not going to go anywhere with the least group here talking about the big move and the need for revenue tools. It's the citizens that have to stand up and be counted and say, we better do something and we're prepared to pay for it. Here, bird from Oakville.